Hello. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's reads. Uh, my YouTube channel is James 13 Wicca, in case you're seeing this video somewhere else on YouTube. Um, for the main part of the read, I'm using Astro, Ma Astro Matrix Tarot by... I bring my blank. I don't know. Is this the one that's from... The website in the back is Astro Matrix. Some of these... They come forward in different ways. I don't know if this one had a creator or if it was listed that way, but there's astromatrix.com. Nope, .org. Um, check that out if you're interested in this deck. I want to say this is one of those that doesn't list the creator, but it could be crazy. Supportive Oracle Cards, Your Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace, illustrations by Aline Marzen. On the back is... Uh, rockpoolpublishing.com. The AU is an Apple, use an umbrella. And, of course, the dice. Um, you get the dice from the Dice Shop by Math Art Fun. I don't know if it's showing up there. Hopefully it's showing up. I'm going to try to do this. I have to get my ducks in a row to do these things differently. But for right now, I'm going to keep doing them the way I was. But um, Alex, I explained that in other videos. 22-sided dice for the Major Arcana. 22 I substitute for the zero. 14-sided uh, dice for the minor arcana. I use a four-sided dice to choose the element. Boom. All right. That being said, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information that's below, same email. That being said, let's go on to your reading. Hello, Capricorn. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. These readings are valid when you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Capricorn? The energy's slowing down a little bit, which I don't think is bad, but I'm noticing it's slowing down a little bit. Okay. So, I'm wondering if this is going to be a more simple read. It could be social connections. It doesn't have to be. I feel like a lot of times for Earth signs, Capricorn, Earth sign, of course, um, it tends to be like creating something, building something of value. A lot of times it fits easiest with work. It doesn't have to, of course. It could be family, of course. Um, take it with a grain of salt, however this makes sense to you. But I feel like I've been very disconnected for a while. I feel like I've been disconnected, and I'm questioning how. Like, we've probably been a part of the situation, but I've, it's like still feeling disconnected. And kind of like... There's, there's some fire energy in the sense of like, I don't feel like I can plan... I just don't feel like I can plan the next move, whatever this is. And that's that's not a happy moment for Capricorn, usually. There's a lot of different flavors of Capricorn. Like, you know, if your sun sign is Capricorn and nothing else in your chart is Earth. <laughs> so there could be a lot of, if that's the case, there could be a different a lot of different flavors of Capricorn, you know. But um, to, typically that's not a happy moment. Capricorn likes to plan, put their ducks in a row. I'm going to need this later, so I'm going to hold it to the side, and then when I need it, I will use it. You know what I mean? But if I'm like, I don't know what's coming. I don't know if I'm going to the beach. I don't know if I'm going to the mountains. I don't know if it's going to be hot. I don't know if it's going to be cold. I don't know if it's going to be wet. I don't know if it's going to be dry. Like, it's kind of like I can't bring the whole house with me everywhere I go. So, like, um, and I feel like I've had to get used to this. Because things just keep changing, and I don't, I just, I'm not allowed to plan like I want to, and I don't really like it. Um, for some reason, I'm involved in this because I feel like I need to be, or for some reason, you're involved in it because it's just how it's worked out. Um, you do your best to think it out. You do your best to work with it in the moment. I feel like I'm, I have to, like, I have to depend on others. A little bit to like make sure the situation is prepared correctly 
I feel like I really don't like that. Um, the way the situation is playing out, I'm doing what I can with it. I keep feeling like I'm used to it. I also feel like I'm emotionally disconnected from it a little bit. Um, the Seven of Swords is a lot of different versions. A lot of times people refer to it as the Thief card, which sometimes, but I, it's also like being disconnected or just not really connecting to a situation, just not dealing with something. Sometimes it's a survival card in my opinion, like things aren't going well, so I just gotta do what I can to make it through this and just I have to get out of it the best way I can because that's what I have to do. Um, I just feel like a lot of people see it as a negative card. It's not always. It depends on how it's working for you. And I feel like this is how you're surviving through this. Like, I just got to handle it the way I got to handle it. I don't have the luxury of liking it. I just got to make it through this. I just got to do what I got to do. And I feel like I've gotten used to it. I feel like I've gotten used to it. The current energy is kind of looking at the situation where maybe something's going to change soon. Maybe we're going to restructure this. Now, the energy coming in, I, the energy coming in is kind of like creating a plan and you're seeing the plan. You're not, I don't, I don't think like somebody's creating a plan or showing a plan. You're seeing the plan for sure. I don't know if they're there. I don't know if they already made it or if they're creating it in front of you. If they're creating it in front of you, either way, you're kind of like, well, we'll see what happens. The situation just doesn't ever go doesn't ever go as planned, so like we'll see. I'm not over investing in this, and I feel like that's probably a survival way you're handling this. If this reading hits, of course, kind of like yeah, no, 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 I'm not gonna invest in this because when it doesn't go the way it's supposed to, it's just gonna make it that much more worse for me because I planned for it. And all the planning I did just went thrown went right out the window, and that's going to make me very upset. So, I'll 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 keep it in mind. I'll do what I can to try to think about it, but I'm not going to like, I'm not going to hold to it or expect it to play out the way they're saying. I'm going to take it like hopefully it works out that way, or maybe it'll work out that way. But I'm not going to overinvest in it. Um, you're surviving through it still. Things should be changing, by the way. Because I feel like there's other energy here that's realizing that this isn't working for you. Can we get a little bit more on that before? This isn't working for you. This is not how you do things. And it's not letting you stabilize things. I feel like your energy is very much... I just feel like it's diminished. Still effective. You're still effective. But... It's not a way that you're like flourishing at your best. This is not this is not where you flourish at your best. It's kind of like, you know, excuse me. I keep getting hiccups and stuff because I feel like this is stressful. It reminds me of putting like, you know, um I'm trying to think of something that sucks up a lot of water. Like putting a willow tree in the, in the desert. It's just kind of like if people keep bringing it water and enough water, I guess. I guess it could work, but it's dependent on a lot of energy to keep it going. Or vice versa, if you put like a cactus in a rainforest, I actually think, I don't think that would work. I have a feeling the cactus would not live. <laughs> but if you put a, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like if you're going to put a cactus in a rainforest, you got to protect it from getting too much water. Because I do believe, and I don't know a lot about the subject, I think a lot of cactuses though, if you overwater them, they start to rot, I think. I think that happens. I could be wrong. But I feel like you give a cactus too much water and it doesn't work. Um, so it's kind of like you're effective, you're beautiful in your own way, but like the environment you're in is just kind of like, this doesn't make sense. This is not a Capricorn place. This is, but Capricorn is here and Capricorn doesn't give up, but still, you know, this is not a Capricorn place to be. And I feel like that energy needs to come forward. I think they're advising to talk about that a little bit more that like, this has been a while and it's never been to your liking. It's certainly isn't at the moment and you're not expecting it to be <laughs> it's just about like ex working out that energy now if you have somebody to talk to that's great if you're um uh what is it called betterhelp.com some type of therapist betterhelp.com makes it more accessible to people uh wherever you are i feel like you can do it through text through uh voice through and if, you know you have different you have a lot of choices a lot of options 
um, this might be a situation that like somebody that you feel like you can talk about this situation with, they're like talking this out might loosen up your energy enough to where, you know, you might have more control here than you're able to see right now. And somebody else may be able to be that sounding board for you that you feel you can trust and you can talk about this stuff with, which could be a person you know, or could be a professional, like a therapist, whatever works. That could be like, you know, Capricorn, I know this is rough for you and I know you're not liking this, but I'm seeing that here's a possibility, here's a possibility, and you could have this possibility. I would recommend we start like going down these roads and just researching and seeing like if if this is actually an option for you and if this could actually improve your life. Because what's going on right now, I it's not a Capricorn thing. And it's not like, I just feel like it's it makes me like, I just get used to living. I feel like I'm used to living in like a very smog or a very toxic environment. Could be where the air or the water or the, the something isn't healthy. And I've just gotten used to like, well, I just have to smell this, these things. I have to smell the smoke every day. It's, it's not good for my lungs, but this is where I got to live. So I guess I've just gotten used to being in this environment. That's like, it's a metaphor, but you know what I mean? So the next thing's coming forward. If you're able to talk to somebody and actually start stepping back, for some of you, I will admit, maybe you just needed a time to sit back and just start sorting through what's there and what's not and what do you need. Some of you just might need that moment, so I hope I didn't, I don't want to miss that, but some of you, that might be a way to do it. You can just step back and just like have that moment. Some of you might be able to do that, but there's a moment here where possibilities are going to be here for you healthier possibilities. Uh, these were face down, not that you knew that. I don't think I said it, but I was using that smog, like, you know, a bad environment, toxic environment that you're just soaking in all those toxins. There's possibilities for you to get out of that environment and go into an environment that more suits you. And there's information coming your way that you can easily get once you start looking for it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, if you're constantly looking at the ground and constantly worried about where you're digging, it's hard to see the, the birds that are flying above your head. You know what I mean? So this, I feel like this is one of those situations where I'm used to making it through. I'm working at it. I'm working at it. And Capricorn is a very diligent worker. So if you're constantly concentrating on what you're working at and you're digging and you're digging, you're not seeing the birds flying up. They're not birds being an analogy for possibilities. So you need that ability to step back, to sit back and to like look above you and soak in the uh, environment and kind of like see those opportunities that when you are so diligently working, you're, they're not in your view, so you're not even aware that they're there. Because something is there. Something is there where things can go differently. And it takes your seeing it to start the first step in possibly changing things. Um, Capricorn usually doesn't change things in five seconds. It's usually an attribute, in my opinion, of earth signs. Um, this sign, this this does talk about Taurus energy. You might have a Taurus that you're dealing with, or it just might be an opportunity coming in that's very compatible and will just kind of pull you forward with it. I don't feel like you have to do all the work for this situation, whatever it is, but the opportunity is there. Opportunity for you to move forward, opportunity for you to have, but it's very compatible to what you actually want in life versus what you've been putting up with in life. Um, and it may be a very difficult decision, but at the same time, it may be a very refreshing and very healthy decision for you at the same time. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, eight of swords reversed, getting out of, eight of swords upright is like feeling trapped and feeling stuck. When it's reversed, it's getting out of that. I'm also, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to say this, like, I'm going to do the, okay. When it's upright, it's it's a trap card, feeling trapped, but also part of when it's upright, there is a way out. It's just hard to see. It's just giving yourself the ability to know that there's a way out when it's upright. When it's reversed, the Eight of Swords reversed, it kind of has the same warning. When it's reversed, you can get out of the situation. You're seeing the situation that you can get out of, but you've got to be careful that you can lock yourself in and you can convince yourself that you're not allowed or it's unfair if you do, or you can find a way to box yourself in if you really want to. Be aware of that. You can. They're saying, hopefully you don't. Don't take this situation and try to lead it. They're saying, don't do that. It will create a different level of stress and it won't heal as well as it could. <clears throat> this isn't a situation for you to lead at this point. It's a situation for you to join and let it lead you. Um, 
because there's an opportunity coming forward and I feel like you need time to heal. I feel like Capricorn can lead and lead very well. But when you're already so depleted and you've been held down for so long, you need time to heal to truly, truly have that energy to truly get the outcome you actually need. Um, so the advice is to not lead when this comes, when this opportunity shows up, don't lead. It's kind of like getting on the bus and letting the bus take you where it needs to go. You're going to know where the bus needs to go. So I'm, I'm going to use the bus as an analogy. Maybe this bus is going to be a six day trip. When you get on that bus, you don't want to like go, okay, this is where we're going to stop. This is how it's going to go. This is what I'm going to do for here. This is what I'm going to do when it's this stop. You kind of want to let it like other people who are going along this trip kind of like, okay, you've people have been on this bus before. Okay. How do you do that? Like, can you tell me? Because I want to be a part of this and I want to do it well and I'm willing to help others if people help me. And they're like, don't worry, Capricorn. We'll help you out. We'll keep you up to date. We'll look out for you and just work with us and help us out and we'll make sure things work out for you. I don't know if I'm doing that analogy right. Because I feel like what they're saying is don't try to create the whole thing yourself. Don't try to like keep it under control yourself. Let other people tell you how they've done it and let them build the experience for you at this time. It's more of a learning time. It's not going to cement in a plan. It's not going to cement in an outcome. But it's kind of like you need to learn how other people are doing it. That way you can learn all the advantages and disadvantages so that you can you know, watch out for the pitfalls and make sure you get the optima out of this. Uh, if you go into it kind of like, all right, I see where this bus is going. When it hits this town, I think I'm going to do this. When it hits that town, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to need some things over here. I'm going to get that. It makes sense why you would want to do that. But they're saying... Talk with people around you. Talk with other people on this bus, just especially people who have been on this bus for a while. So it's like when you're getting into the situation, if it was a job situation, for example, and you're if you're starting a new job, for example, maybe that's what this opportunity is. Talk to people who've worked there for a while. Talk to people how they have saw this works out best, that doesn't, the pitfalls, the, the, the rewards, how it all works out. Absorb that information. Absorb what they say. Go along with them and kind of like try to help them out and assess like was it worth it, was it not? You need it to get experience with the situation, but also to get experience with the people you're working with to know who matches my energy, who doesn't, who has best intent, who has not the best intent, <laughs> all that. Like, and that's not always the same. There's people you're not going to get along with that have really good intent, but they just don't match you. There's going to be people who do match you and feel the same way, but they have very negative intent. So, you know, you got to sort of sift this out. This is going to take some time. See how they're doing it. Get involved. They're saying mesh in that way so you can learn what you need to do and learn how to get that success you want. If you just try to lead it like, okay, I see what's here. I'm going to do this. I see what's here. I'm going to do that. You're not going to have enough information to have that optimal experience that you really do want. Um, I've been talking about this. I just haven't shown these cards. I keep looking at them and holding that other card up. Um, friendships coming in really quick. But also having the wisdom to like look at that, like I already said it, like it's like there's people who match how you do things, there's people who don't. And there's some variations obviously in between. But it's more about also like who has good intent and who has negative intent and then there's of course the variation in between. So it's kind of like I'm trying to find people who like not only match my intent but also have good, they, met, they match the way I do things, they have good intent. I want to go towards that. And even if there's people who don't do things the way I do, and I'm like, I don't like how they do things, but I'm like, but I believe in them. They're good people. I just, we're different. We're just, we're just different and that's fine. We kind of want to figure out who those people are. We also want to figure out, again, who, who does things the same way I do, but it's kind of like, even though they do things the way I do, not the best intent. I want to stay away from that. The, doing it this way and connecting with people that way help you build that wisdom, help you build, build that solid outcome that you really need, you know? Whatever this is, this next rotation, it's time for you to have some good energy. It's time to heal from this situation. It's time to have a good period of life. Um, it's a general read, so it could last a long time. It could last the rest of your lifetime. It could be for a moment. I don't know. It's a general read. You know what I'm saying? But they're saying you could have this Knight of Cups with a lot of rewards coming your way, a lot of information, and, a, and it's the integrity that brings you forward. You have a lot of integrity to share. When you say what you're going to say, I feel like this is a Capricorn thing. Like when, when Capricorn puts that line in the sand, people know that they're not kidding. Like that's a line and that's for real. And whether you like my line or not, that's where I stand. That integrity is going to move you forward in this situation. It's going to bring you a lot of rewards. Again, I don't know how long it's going to last. It's a general read. 
but it's time that you had the energy go more in your favor. It's gone. It has not gone in your favor in a while is what I'm getting. And it's, it needs to go in your favor now and stick there for a while from what I'm getting. And this, hopefully this is helping get there. I'm also getting from this overall read because I'm like, before I end it, keep getting that energy. Like before you end it, you have to talk about it. You have to see those opportunities. This reading is supposed to say or help you see that if this is hitting with like how this is feeling, they're like, there are opportunities there and not all of them are scary. Um, some of you I feel like might be afraid like, yeah, I know there's something there, but it may not be something I want or something I like or, you know, something like that. If you see the opportunities, there will be good things there. And then hopefully it's giving you that, vo that vote of confidence. If you see opportunities and you're like, they don't match, don't worry about it. There's nothing you have to do. But if you have to look for them to see them. And before you can take an opportunity, you have to see the opportunity. And this is kind of like your energy can go better. You can be happier. They want that for you. Hopefully this inspires that to be a part of your life. Are we good? Done. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.